<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. <laughs> She's funny today. Right, good afternoon people. It's Rate right, My Beer. It's Crumbacker. Pills coming in at... No? 5.8. Sorry, 4.8. She drank too much last night. Wishful thinking. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll tell you what, it's got a date of the 3rd of the 10th, 22. Maybe um, Beer Wolf know I keep complaining about them. They give me dodgy talks. I know I said I wasn't doing any more on the sub, but I subsequently thought, well, this is one of my go-to beers, you know, when we used to go to the pub in Hyfe, wasn't it? I absolutely love it on draft. Add it in the bottle, um, and it has been good. Not for a while, I must admit. Anyway, enough of my rubbish. Let's get it loaded up. Let's leave pre-chilled. Don't need me to go on about loading this in because most of you watching this will know it's easy. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what the goes wrong. No, no. Well, I'm well, then. <laughs> there we go in with that. Uh, trustworthy little machine, and on we go. Easy as that. Green light. Pretty chill talk. And you're in, aren't you, basically? The key to success, pour a little bit out into that. Blimey. Oh, God. Pulled them older. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on, I have plan B. Never fear, people, when I'm here. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Let's get it. Blimey, no way to drink. Can't use that one. Uh, okay, I'm here, don't worry. I'm not lost at sea. Right, we'll have to go on that one. The only problem with these torps, if you moulder it, you're kind of done for. And they can be a bit lively. Anyway, that's better, isn't it? Drop that into there. Got shakes. Oh, I have not got the shakes. <laughs> she's, a, she's funny, isn't she? This is a beer review, not comedy. Comedy comes later, live, if I get this up today. After last night, trust me, Jesus, nothing else could happen. Right, oh, are you here or here? I am here. I was waiting in the background um, just to see how he did on this. Because um, you can't do it. It kind of, I didn't want to even attempt that. I knew how it was going to go. So, there we go. Okay. In this glass, it looks a lot better than that one. It's a cracking little glass, that, isn't it? Yeah. It's a light golden colour, it's clear. As you can see, it's got a foamy head. Um, yeah. I obtained that from Bulgaria when I got a break from her. So how about that? Yep, Bulgaria. Going on the aroma, it's... it just smells very malty. Yeah, it just smells like, like a standard bargain, like it's meant to. I mean, you can say it's a bit, a bit herby, the malt's a bit sweet, but really, it's just standard. Yeah. It doesn't smell. There's nothing, you know, you're like, oh, look at that. You go on about it, smell as long as you like. Most of them smell. So, let's see how it tastes. So. Mm. 
Nice bitter aftertaste. But blimey. I'm not blown away by that. No, um, <laughs> it's, I've been uh, a great fan of this for a long time, but um, the game's changed a lot. Um, you've got um, our friends at InBev releasing a hell of a lot of big, big hitters on the perfect draft. Whereas, in my opinion, the Blades had some very little hitters. And the sub, I've got this one as well, which I've never seen before, which I'm quite excited to do, I must admit, because I'm more into my wheat beers. But then, in saying that, one of my top five beers on the PD is a Hassel Roder, and this is not going to touch it. It's... It's not great. It tastes a little bit greasy. Do you know what I mean by that? Well, I can't use it to do me hair. I ain't got any. <laughs> it, it's, it's, um, it's tough. Um, it's okay. It's got a nice bit of aftertaste. You've got your malts going through there. But I don't think this is anything better than the bottle. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the bottle chilled quick enough. And we wanted to put this one out today, being Wednesday. So I will look at it again with a bottle, but... When you get three bottles for five pound in Tesco's, I don't think it's very much different. I mean, as I say, what okay. My honest assumption of this is it tastes really watery. You get a little bit of malt to begin with. You're left with a bitter aftertaste in your mouth. And well, I like the bitter aftertaste though, so it's not all bad. It's not too much, but there's nothing in between. It's not great, is it? Um, Sorry to say that. Um, uh, I think it he was. He was really excited to have this as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I think it's nine ninety nine for the torp. That's, if you go on five hundred mil pints, euro pints, that's two and a half quid a pint. You might as well get three bottles. I think six hundred and sixty mil from Tesco's for a fiver. If I'm honest, um, it's definitely not setting the world on fire. It's not great. Um, I had a feeling like. Knowing I like the bottle and I liked it on draft, although I haven't had it on draft Actually, for three no, years. Actually, he, no, he, he does enjoy it. He's got the glasses. Um, I've got a pint glass of it as well somewhere, but I couldn't find it. But I, I do like these ones anyway. Um, it's just... It's nothing to shout about, is it? I, I can't... Um, There's no depth to it. It's really watery. You, you've got a little bit of maltiness. You finish off with a, a bitter aftertaste and you don't get anything else. There's, no, there's just a not bit of, a lot there is a bit going of zest on in there. There is a bit of zest going there. But it's, it's not, as I say, I'll go back to Hassel Roder. It's no Hassel Roder. It's not. It's no spatum, is it? Mm. You know, I mean, to be honest, I only feel privileged that this isn't on the blade because trying to get through 14 pints. Could be tricky, if I'm honest. Um, um, I can't. I'm just. To be fair, I'm not impressed at all. I'm not overly impressed, but I am going to give it a yes because, as an average beer, it's not that bad. It's just not that great. I don't know what I expected. Um, I go back to the. Actually, the more I drink of it, it's like a sweaty armpit. It's not nice. It's not that bad. In my opinion, it's not that bad. Um, you're entitled to your opinion. That's why people will listen to these, because they hear two yeah. people's It opinion, is just my opinion. Rather than one. Um, Cromback is a popular drink, so, well, you know. I was really looking forward to this, and I was looking forward to doing the review, because I thought, oh, yeah, we're going to get a cracking pills. Yeah, it's... I prefer wholesome pills At to it. At best, I'm going to call it bland. At worst, I'm going to call it sweaty armpit juice. Um, no, it's not. It's not that it's bad. It's not good. It's not good. In my opinion, it's not that bad. I'm going I'm on. giving, I rate my beer three. So she's giving it a no. I'm giving it a yes and a solid six. <laughs> I think, um, as I say, it's not great, but it's not bad. Would I buy it again? No. no. <laughs> I would try it in the bottle. If I can get the bottle chilled, I'll 
do that ASAP because I think that would be interesting. The bottle may well be better. Because you do like this drink. So Well I did, yeah. But yeah, it ain't great, people. Um on my advice, in my opinion, don't rush out to buy it. It's nothing more than average beer. That's as far as I can go with it. I'm sorry, people that love their subs and everything, but they're they're just not delivering it at the moment. I'm you know I was giving up with it after the dodgy Paulana, if you're watching my live, that was only a week out of date that I don't know. And I saw this weeks. come on and was really excited to try it. Um but um, it's yeah. not good. Thank God I only brought two tools. <laughs> but I did get free delivery with a seven pound <laughs> fifty they gave me, so I can't complain, you know, they're doing their thing and um, you know, some of us go one way, some of us go another way. It's obvious what way I'm going. But there you go. Um, what can I say? Uh, let us know what you think of it. Um, I know someone in my Facebook group's trying it today, or I mean, he might be waiting for his glasses. Yeah, so let us know what you think. It might just be my opinion. Unfortunately, I do find this bland. I was looking forward to drinking it, but it hasn't lived up to expectations, and I find that unfortunate because I've wanted to enjoy it. It's just, it's not great. But so it's not that bad. I've had worse. <laughs> right. What can I say? Um, so Michelle said, do let us. Comment what yeah. you think, you know. Let's know what you think. You might think we're both wrong. You're right. That's fair enough. We're all entitled to our own opinion. Um, thanks for watching. Do feel free, as I say, comment, like, subscribe. Bonjour. And I'll get the bottle one done as soon as I can. See you next time.